All right, what's going on, guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video giving my thoughts. It's a Q and A too, but giving my thoughts on a recent article where AMC said that they think The Walking Dead could go on as long as Star Trek. <sighs> And I'll put the link in the description for you guys to time.com. So uh, this is pretty awesome, man. I got to be honest with you guys. I was absolutely stoked when I when I heard this one. Um, so AMC believes The Walking Dead could last as long as Star Trek. It says, get ready for a whole lot more Rick Grimes. The Walking Dead is slated to return for its seventh season, October 23rd. A mark many television showrunners never even dream of reaching. But in the eyes of AMZ executives, the zombie drama hasn't nearly come close to running its course. During Goldman Sachs' annual Kamunascopia uh, uh, conference Wednesday, AMC Network President and CEO Josh Sapan revealed that he thinks the show has the potential to run for as long as Star Trek has. Of the zombie series, he said, it has an incredibly long life left in it and could continue to run for many, many more years. Star Trek came and went three times, he added, according to the rap. Uh, we do think that we have a franchise in The Walking Dead that is one of the rare franchises that you occasionally come across in what we do for a living. So uh, given that Star Trek just celebrated its 50th anniversary, The Walking Dead has a lot of catching up to do. Um, so absolutely awesome news. Definitely want to give my thoughts on this. Uh, this is great news because, uh, to be honest, going into this year with uh, Game of Thrones ending and that, uh, rumors and things like this, possibly maybe not seeing the Whisper War, I've heard people say, and stuff like this, you know, I don't always know where all the information comes from. You know, I hear you guys say things. A lot of times you guys are great sources. Sometimes uh, I hear just nonsense. And I am really happy to hear this uh, from the AMC president at a Goldman Sachs uh, conference, a money meeting. <laughs> it's a money meeting. Uh, let's be honest here. Money, okay? Uh, so they're letting everybody know, keep the money in AMC because a Walking Dead is going to be going for a very long time. And I love this, man, because... Because this is the opposite of what's happening with Game of Thrones. With Game of Thrones, the showrunners are deciding they want to wrap it up, which is good for quality. It's going to be a great finish in the last two seasons coming up here, season seven and eight. However, uh, HBO wanted the series to go on longer, but they allow the showrunners to do it because it's like their show. The Walking Dead is not like that. The Walking Dead is AMC's property. It's AMC's show. So even if you don't have Scott Gimple, which hopefully we will for a long time, but even if you didn't, even if you didn't have uh, Andrew Lincoln as Rick Grimes, I want to say, uh, they still, it seems, are planning on keeping this going for a long time. It's a zombie apocalypse series. They could kill off anybody, and even if you killed off Rick, for example, let's say, worst case scenario, most important character in the show is killed. Okay, which I don't think is going to happen for a very long time anyway. But let's say they had to do it. Andrew Lincoln wants to retire, whatever. Let's say it's 12 years after Walking Dead has started, season 12 or something, and he's like, you know what, I'm good, I'm done. Even if that happened, what could they do? Would that be the end of the show if AMC doesn't want it to end? What could they do? Would the show end itself, or do they have the option of maybe killing off Rick eventually or killing off some of the main characters and having Carl take over as the lead or having... You know, another character in there, uh, you know, take over. Or maybe if they end one Walking Dead show and they, they start another. They have Fear, for example, right now, which, uh, you know, I, I'm really enjoying as well. So this is great news for us fans because this means that The Walking Dead, at least in terms of the president of the company that, that produces the show and it's their show, has an idea that the show could go on for a very long time. And even if maybe they have to do different versions of it or something, it's going to last for a long time. This is really, I am really, really happy to hear this uh, news because as a fan of the series, uh, it turns the series into what could be a special type of series like Game of Thrones where it goes for eight seasons and then it's, it's finished forever. And uh, it turns it into kind of a more open book to be like, okay, we can do as many seasons as we want to. And if the original series ends, we're still going to continue with some kind of Walking Dead something, you know, if it's fear or whatever. 
another show, another set of characters, something of the sort. It sounds to me like AMC has the idea that where you know you have Star Trek, where you'll have different different shows as a part of Star Trek. You don't have one series that's lasted fifty years, of course. Um, but in this in this version, you you have all these different you know shows to go through with that uh, with Star Trek. Um, you know, with Walking Dead, it sounds like they have the idea that they can do maybe different shows. They can have other, you know, other groups and that, and it can be great. So uh, I'm th- this news for me just made my day. I'm ecstatic to hear that because uh, it gives, you know, I mean, the channel too, like what I do with you guys here, is so much fun for me. I just love it. And uh, if The Walking Dead was to end, it's going to be. You know, it's going to be tough because I know a lot of you guys might not be into the next shows that I'm into. For example, I reviewed Mr. Robot the other day, and I watch The Strain, and I watch uh, Z Nation, and I watch other shows. But I know a lot of times you guys aren't into that. And that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, the Walking Dead is still, I feel like, um, you know, what I enjoy most with you guys and I know you guys uh, look for most from the uh, the channel and that's going to continue and uh, you know I'm down as long as they're down so hopefully this will continue for the long run and uh, you know I'll be here with you guys and uh, you know uh, if you're here I'll be here and if AMC is here and it sounds like they will be then I'll continue to do what uh, what I'm doing and uh, you know really enjoy uh, this uh, this hobby which is which is fantastic so I'm really happy you guys can write your comments below let me know what you think about the Walking Dead having a more really long term vision not going to be ending anytime soon and um, I like the comparison to Star Trek because it kind of hints or means that even if one part of the Walking Dead ended or one group ended. You, they would still come up with other, you know, tellings of maybe a, a different Walking Dead type story in that world, which I think is fantastic. So it's awesome stuff. Next one's from, uh, this will be a, a next next question for the Q&A. Uh, Plasma Boom, who said, this has been the longest six-month break ever, period. <laughs> um, this has been a long one, them ending it at a cliffhanger. Did you guys see the new Negan poster? Sweet, right? And I did not plan this on purpose, but if you look at the poster, you can see in the middle, uh, Glenn is looking to his uh, his left. <laughs> Negan is. Uh, I didn't plan it. It just kind of happened on its own. He just happened to be there, and I, I just put it straight, and there's the face, and he's... Uh, Oh, no, I just thought it was, was kind of funny. It wasn't intentional. Uh, but this has been a long break, man. Um... But you know, it's almost done. We're almost there, guys. We, you know, we got through another break. <laughs> Losing our minds, and uh, you know, fear helped for me a little bit anyway. Game of Thrones was hot this summer, so that was fun to watch. But The Walking Dead really is my favorite. Period, bar none. It's uh, my favorite series ever. Not even just one that's on now. It's my favorite series ever. So uh, very happy to see that, uh, that the king is is returning, so to speak. And uh, Negan is here to claim his, uh, his, his zombie apocalypse throne. So that's going to be awesome. So, uh, yeah, Plasma Boom and everybody else, thanks for uh, continuing to watch, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun next month. It's going to be a great October. I'm really, really excited for it. And I'm just buzzing. Every year, I think, I just get more and more uh, you know, excited to see the seasons, and uh, it just becomes uh, even better and better, I think, uh, as the show has gone through. At least seasons five and six have, for sure, improved on the prior. Um, next one's from Brian uh, Atchim. He says, hey, Trav, Q&A, uh, do you think the kingdom and its people will be fleshed out more on the show than we got to see in the comics? So I thought this was a great question from Brian, and we had the Secrets Kingdom uh, sort of trailer uh, that was posted there a couple days ago. Um, yeah, I think they have to. For a TV series version, it's going to be different from the comics. In the comics, the kingdom was always there. You have Ezekiel, you have the tiger. But I can't name a single other character from the first section. We've got some characters in there now uh, that have taken over leadership and some cool stuff happening with the kingdom now. Some arguments about what to do. Um, however... Um, yeah, nobody else really got fleshed out from the kingdom. Like, like nobody, you know. From the hilltop, you have Jesus, you have Gregory, you have some other characters there now, especially in the meantime. But the kingdom has always been one of those locations, more than any other, that never really got any other characters fleshed out. So I like this character in that uh, trailer that's uh, telling Morgan to keep it a secret. Uh, looks like there's another guy there, too. And uh, it looks good. It looks like we're going to get to see some other characters and get to feel for some other characters as part of the kingdom. And... Um, 
That's one great thing about them going from the comic books. They can take the comic books as like a storyboard for what they want to do. They can take the funding they get from AMC, of course, uh, for the show, and uh, they can really, you know, uh, get into it and add things to it and make it and improve on it in a lot of ways. I think from from the comic book version and really flesh out that world and uh, and, and do a great job of it. So yeah, Walking Dead is awesome. Kingdom's going to be cool, and I'm excited to see other characters from it that we haven't really got exposed to too much in the comics that maybe just in the background or something. Um, now in the TV series version, we're probably going to get to spend more time with them and they're going to get fleshed out more, which is awesome. And the last one will be from uh, Josie Cooley, uh, Rocky Billy Man 26 and uh, he or she says, Hey Trev, uh, enjoy your videos very much. Keep up the good work. I have a question for your Q&A and it is, do you think The Walking Dead Season 7, uh, since we already know uh, that uh, there's a lot more saviors, do you think Rick will be able to even the odds by combining forces uh, with Rick's group alongside uh, the Hilltop and the Kingdom? So in terms the numbers I think he's talking with all those uh, groups combined will Rick have a chance to take down the saviors and how does that look for numbers so from what we've seen at the hilltop the hilltop in the TV series does not have much and when you look at the saviors they have I mean they have a lot of numbers man they really do the hilltop doesn't have hardly anybody that's going to be able to fight if, if Rick and the group in the TV series version try to fight back against Negan they don't have much, so the kingdom better be kind of stacked. We've we've seen already they've got at least some fighters. They, it looks like they've got pretty good amounts of numbers, um, but the hilltop really hasn't contributed too much. It sounds like to the uh, the overall uh, you know resistance against the saviors and Negan. So um, right now we're going to have to see more for sure. I mean, the saviors have tons of groups. Tons of manpower. So it'll be really interesting to see how they remix it in the show, if they even bring in another group or something as a villain or as, as good guys or something. We'll see. Uh, it'll be cool to see. But definitely, Negan and the Saviors have the numbers. They outnumber Rick's group tremendously. And uh, even with what we've seen so far in the trailers, it looks to me like Negan and the Saviors have the numbers easy compared to like what you know, Hilltop and what we've seen from Kingdom so far. So unless the Kingdom has a lot more that we have not seen uh, so far, yeah, Negan and the Saviors are, uh, are are forced to be reckoned with right now. So we'll see what they do. Uh, that'll be it for today's Q&A, guys. I uh, hope you liked it. hope you're excited. Uh, you know, we're going on to, uh, you know, just under a month now. So, uh, man, just so stoked. If you guys like today's video, please don't forget to thumb it up. And if you're new and you want to subscribe, subscribe at the bottom left. That's it for this one. I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, it's Trev. I'm saying peace. Later, guys. See ya.